everyone, Hope Pretty Kay. So today I'm going to do a video about Frankie. Frankie, you can say hello. Um, so you've probably already all met Frankie, he was in my haul video and I've also posted lots of pictures of him on my Instagram um, which is Dizzy Brunette Free if you're not following me already and of course I've spoke about him on my Twitter. Let's just move out of the way. So I thought that I would do a video telling you a little bit more about Frankie play musical chairs here aren't we? A little bit more about Frankie, um, we've had him for two weeks now so I thought that we would tell you some stuff that he's been up to, I've done some mini vlogs throughout the couple of weeks so I'm going to be inserting them throughout the video so you can see some videos um, of him like doing some firsts like with us and I just thought I would give you some tips and tricks that we've been kind of learning and about how we've been getting him to adjust to our lifestyle because a few of you did request a puppy video and who can resist a video with this little face? Okay, so whilst Frankie is playing behind me, he's been an absolute little terror the past hour. We've even done like crazy run round laps around the garden, which usually tires him out. He's not having it, he's just being a little rascal, but you know, that's a puppy. So first things first, um, Frankie, a little bit more about him. 12 weeks old now, we've had him for two whole weeks, which is just crazy because I can't really remember life before Frankie. I can't remember a time when I slept after 8am in the morning but oh well I'll get him to sleep in a little bit later on. So the breed that Frankie is is a Labradoodle. He's supposed to be a miniature Labradoodle but I don't think he's going to be miniature because he's already 6 kilograms and he's 12 weeks old. Um, so his mum was a Labradoodle and then his dad was a miniature poodle so the breeder said that she thinks he's going to be like Cocker Spaniel um, size but we will see you know I'm not really too bothered if he is going to be a big dog even though it wasn't really what we planned. Um, but as long as he's well behaved, that's really the most important thing. So we got him from a local breeder. Oh, piece of hair. Looking annoying. Um, so we got him from a local breeder a couple of weeks ago and... Um Hello, so today we are getting a puppy. So I thought that I would vlog it because I thought it would be quite interesting. So we're about five minutes away from the lady's house that we're getting the puppy. Um, he's going to be a Labradoodle. A miniature Labradoodle and I think he's apricot coloured and we're going to call him Frankie so we're super excited because we've wanted a little puppy for so long so we're just going to go pick him up it's really really horrible day today and I look such a mess because I've been at work but we're going to go pick him up and hopefully the love is behind how excited are you Henry? that sound is so unexcited <laughs> Yeah, I'm probably about, on a scale of 1 to 10, probably about 57. 57. 11 probably on the excitement scale. So we're literally just pulling up to the house now. So I will be back when we've picked up. We've, wanted, we've been wanting a puppy for a really long time. Ever since we moved into our house, which was back in May, one of the first questions that we asked the estate agent when we looked around was, can we have a dog? That was like the most important question on like mine and Henry's agenda. So we've been discussing it for a long time, but we decided that we wanted to settle into the house and kind of got ourselves settled into a routine before we decided to go and get a dog, because obviously it is a massive commitment. And we couldn't decide on what breed to get, and then in the end we settled on a Labradoodle, which is like a Labrador and a Poodle cross. They're very similar to Cockapoos, which is a Cocker Spaniel and a Poodle. Um, we like them because we just thought, you know, we did a lot of research on their temperament and um, the breed and they just seem like a really nice breed to have. They've got a really nice temperament and they're very good family dogs. So we just thought that this breed would be perfect. Hello Frankie. I didn't film in the car because it was really dark and he was a little bit spooked because I don't think he's been in a car before. So are you ready to see him? This is Frankie. Say hello Frankie to YouTube. Um, so he's just trying to, he's just getting his bearings, so he's having a drink of water, we're literally just, just having him in the lounge at the moment and Henry's gone out to get some stuff for his tea. Um, he likes cornflakes apparently and lactose free milk, so Henry's gone to get that quickly. This is his little bed and that's his blanket. It smells with mummy which is kind of sad. And then we've got some newspaper and puppy pads, but he's just kind of getting his whereabouts. And he's, Giving us a good sniff, aren't you, monkey? 
Yeah, he seems quite chilled. So puppies are definitely hard work, and to be honest, it kind of took a bit. It took a bit of a shock to the system for me because I'm not gonna lie. I was a bit delusional. I thought puppies were just gonna be cuddled on your lap all the time and just give you lots of like love and affection. And I kind of forgot that there's other sides to puppies and. I didn't quite realise how hard work he was going to be till he got here. So just a little word of warning, they are hard work. It's like basically having a baby, kind of. Um, so what we've been doing is, um, he's 12 weeks now so we can start training him and we're going to take him to puppy training classes which will be amazing and then we're also going to be starting to take him on walks this week which is also going to be really good. So he's had his full injections, he's had like flea and worm treatment so that's all sorted. Um, so yeah it's just a case of walking him which me and Henry are both really excited about because he's got so much energy and he can't really use it all so like we've, I've got this game of like run around the garden with him and I like kick a baseball or a tennis ball and he kind of chases after me and that kind of uses a lot of energy and then like we do a thing where me and Henry like kick the ball to each other and he like runs back and forth so we have got games to like play with him to try and use his energy but we think once we start walking him that will make a big difference. Today we're going to take Frankie on his first walk which is very exciting. How excited are you Frankie? like when like sleeping until we got him and the first night that we had him oh um, gee, me and Henry were like oh my god what is this noise coming out of his mouth it was like a monkey going ooh, ooh, ah, ah. it was horrible awful 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 it actually made me cry because I was just really sad and I felt really guilty that I'd taken him away from his mum and his brothers and sisters and he was all alone downstairs but I was like no we're not having him upstairs in the bedroom I don't want to get into the habit of having him at the end of our bed so basically we've been crate training him, which I know some people don't agree with, but personally we thought it was the best thing to do for him and about five days later we finally mastered it. So, puppy tips. For sleeping, we have found that um, him being in his crate or pen has been really good. It makes them feel quite safe because they're in an enclosed space. We found that the first couple of nights when we had him like in the hallway or the bathroom, um, that he felt like it was too much of a big open space and he was really, really upset. So I think he prefers to be in an enclosed space because he feels a lot safer. We've so it's day three of having Frankie and I'm really sorry that I've not vlogged in the past couple of days but it's been absolutely crazy. So I'm going to give you a bit of a recap. Um, so we picked them up on Friday night. Um, he was really, really good for it. I think he was tired out from probably playing with his brothers and sisters all day and he literally was just like really dozy. Um, but when I actually came to put him to bed it was absolutely awful. Everyone was like the first night's going to be the worst but I didn't think we anticipated how bad it was going to be. His crying was just horrible and he was just crying and barking and it was really not very nice. found that classical music is Frankie's thing so we've got a radio in the hallway with the crate and we put on classic FM quite quietly and we just find that it soothes him and he quite likes it so we've got a cultural little dog so he shouldn't really be our dog because he's not into like one direction um, so yeah he likes classical music which we think is kind of funny but bless him kind of expecting him to come down one day like, and find him in a smoking jacket in a pipe or something in the day when we have to go to work and stuff so um, we also have found that he just loves company he just likes being with someone Thank you. He's getting like slightly better, like before you can even go, don't lick your bottom on camera, that's very rude. Um, like you can even go for a shower without him like barking the house down, but he's getting better which is, you know, really good. found at night time, because the first couple of nights we were a bit naughty, we had a sleeping bag and we slept next to the pen to kind of shut him up because obviously we've got neighbours and we don't want to wake them up. So what we found is putting on classical FM and then putting an empty sleeping bag next to the pen makes him think that someone's there so he's a lot quieter. He doesn't even bark or cry at night anymore so that's our little trick. So if you've got a puppy who's not sleeping, try that because it makes them think that someone's next to them. Frankie, say hello. <laughs> I also, we've also got a blanket from their mum, so it's got their mum's scent. We've also popped in two old tops of mine and Henry's, so he's got our scent. 
I pop in a hot water bottle that I wrap around in my top so it makes them feel comforted. We've got a mini alarm clock that we put underneath the bed which kind of is meant to remind them of like a heartbeat so it makes them think someone else is there. And then if I show you the other toy we've got this. This is Frankie's little pal from Ikea. So um, don't bite him. He's very mean to him. Um, oh, you're going to play. Go on then, Frankel. Um, so I find that putting him in with him just makes him feel like he's got a little power, which is quite So the things that you need if you're going to get a puppy, obviously a bed, a pen if you're going to crate train him, and toys. Um, we've got him, like, obviously, his little pal. We've got him some bones and some like chewy, rubbery toys because obviously he's teething. Get him some balls to play around the garden because obviously it helps to tire them out. Um, what else have we got you, Frankie? Um, we've got you a Kong. Where, where's that gone? Here you go. So we've got one of these Kongs and basically what you do is it's like rubbery so they can chew on it and you, there's a hole so you can put treats in it. So you've got one of those because it's really good, it gives them a challenge, so it gives like keeps them occupied. Um, so you can put like treats in there which is what we've been doing um, and he really enjoys that, it gives him a real fun time. Um, what else? He loves to chew shoes. Um, Luckily we've not had too many incidents, he did manage to rip a bow off one of my ballet pumps and I had to do an emergency dash to Primark. Um, what else does he love chewing? He loves chewing us. He's really going through a biting phase at the moment and it does slightly worry me. Obviously once we start training him we think that will be better. Um, but if anyone's got any tips on how to deal with biting then please let me know because I'd be so grateful. And because nothing that I seem to be doing at the moment is working. So anything that you can suggest would be absolutely amazing. Um, what else does he love? I would definitely recommend picking up some puppy pads. They are a lot more absorbent than newspaper. And you just when you're dealing with wee and poo, like the last thing you want to do is like clearing up, like it just getting everywhere. So these they just absorb everything. They're kind of like a massive nappy for the floor. So I just think they make life so much easier. Frankie is actually really good. Like he was 90% house trained when we got him. So he kind of lets you know if he wants to go outside for a wee or a poo, which he does most of the time. But sometimes he will go for a wee. But he generally does it on the puppy pad or newspaper. So he's really, really good in you know that respect. Um, what else we need? Obviously like their food. Um, are you excited about your first dress? So different when his hair work. Frankie! All in all, Frankie has been, you know, a, a good little boy and he's, you know, an incredible addition to, you know, our household. Don't bite me. You know that's naughty. Mm-hmm. Um, he is pretty good at sleeping, like we tend to go to bed about half, ten, half ten, and then he will wake us up usually about quarter to seven in the morning um, to go for a wee, like go to the toilet. So to be honest, we are kind of getting used to early nights and early mornings, which is a little bit crazy because I've always been a little bit of a night owl and then a lying person. And um, for the past two weeks, I can't remember what it's like to sleep past 8 a.m. I actually cannot remember. But it's a good job he's so blim and cute. So that is Frankie. I hope I've answered any questions that you may have or given you a couple of tips. I know there wasn't very many, but um, we're kind of learning and I'm going to be going obviously as he gets older I'll be including him in videos and stuff like that. But please let me know like in the comments or tweet me if there's anything else you'd like to know about puppies, if you've got any like questions at all. Um, then let me know and I will be sure to answer them. But yeah, I hope you... Hair's going crazy today, Frankie. Thanks. Yeah, that's Frankie. I hope you enjoyed this video. Frankie, look at the camera. Frankie. Frankie. He's kind of noisy, isn't he? But it's just lovely to have, you know, someone, you know, with you. And when he's not being a terror and he's like this and he's giving you a puppy cuddle, it's just really really nice. So I hope you're good. Let me know if there's any more videos you'd like to see um, whether it's like dog related or makeup related please let me know. Hope you enjoyed this little video away from like beauty and stuff today and I'll see you very soon in my next one. Bye! Bye Frankie! Frankie! Bye everyone!